to you. Valerie, thank you. Catalina Highway has reopened after a wildfire that burned nearly 50 acres along the road yesterday. The Forest Service says the Molino fire was caused by humans and burned 50 acres before firefighters finally contained it. Hot shots and other crews also had to battle rugged terrain. Today, they monitored and put out the hot spots. National Forest spokesperson Giselle Cohen says the risk of wildfires here is now year round. Last several winters we've had decent rain, uh, so that meant a lot of the fine fuels grew. And then when it gets hot and dry as it does at this time of the year, those fuels dry out pretty quickly. And so then you have a very receptive fuel bed. Um, just the tiniest of spark can ignite a fire. In all, 125 firefighters attacked the flames from the ground as well as the air. This is the fourth month in a row there have been there has been a wildfire in Coronado National Forest. And Aaron, when you have the winds, the dry air, this is a perfect combo for a disaster. Well, and you know what? Warming temperatures mm -hmm. too, because of course that dries out the fuel for the fire even faster. And we are still seeing uh, the wind fairly elevated in the Tucson area right now from the northwest, 14 miles per hour, but single digit winds across Sierra Vista and Safford. When we switch this over to our winds right now, again, 14 miles per hour in Tucson, the strongest winds at this point being registered across southern Arizona. Overnight, though, and tomorrow, we're not expecting the wind to be a big factor. 89 degrees, though, for a high, so we are going to be warming up, and we'll get even warmer than that as we kick off the weekend as we near 90 once again. That's coming up. Aaron, thank you. The deadline is up for companies to submit their designs for President Trump's proposed border wall. Several companies, including some in Arizona, have unique ideas for the wall. Dark Pulse Technologies of Scottsdale has proposed a concrete wall that can withstand any kind of attack. Fiber sensors would be embedded inside to alert Border Patrol of any attempts to climb over or tunnel under the wall. Other suggestions include installing solar panels on the wall, decorating it with stones and artifacts, and storing nuclear waste along the wall. Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly testified before Congress today saying he's looking at all options. I have no doubt when I go back to him and say, you know, boss, wall makes sense here. Fencing, high tech fencing makes sense over here. Technology makes, fence, makes sense over here. I have no doubt that he will go tell me to do it. Contracts will be awarded to companies around June 1st. And new at 6 tonight, a herd of javelina removed from the Sabino Estates neighborhood after damaging property. You've seen these guys around, right? Mark Hart with Game and Fish tells Kega 9 public safety issues also led to the herd's removal. He says javelina respond instinctively to people walking their dogs and they will attack. The javelina were trapped and then released in the Reddington Pass area. Officials say this area has seen a decline in Javelina, but they will come back again, so watch out. Tucson police need your help finding a man wanted on several charges of sexual conduct with a minor. This is 35-year-old Justin Way. Police say he lives in the Tucson area, but they believe he has connections to Phoenix as well. If you have information, call 88-CRIME. The Arizona Senate has passed a bill aimed at reducing hot car deaths. It allows good Samaritans to take action to save a child or pet from a car without facing a lawsuit. The bill was drafted with the support of the Humane Society of Southern Arizona and other animal welfare groups. The measure goes to the House for final approval before heading to Governor Ducey's desk. And we have information on the bill at kgun9.com and the kgun9 mobile app. The Pothole Patrol is back at it again. We're not just helping drivers, we're also helping pedestrians. This sidewalk trouble spot has been causing problems for years. What we're doing about it next. You're watching kgun9 on your side.
The Pothole Patrol has fixed several rough roads around southern Arizona. Now they're also helping pedestrians. Not in your sides, Pat Paris has more on a midtown trouble spot. In recent months, the Pothole Patrol has been smoothing out your ride around Tucson one pothole at a time. But new today on K-Gun 9, the Pothole Patrol is tackling a different kind of issue. K-Gun 9 viewer Dan Hammer alerting us to this issue at the corner of Stella and Wilmot. There is a fairly large bump in the pavement at the bottom of a ramp as the sidewalk transitions down to the street. Dan says it's been an issue for many, many years, and he says he's seen the bump cause problems for pedestrians as they try to navigate over it. I have seen so many people trip and fall. I watched a mother dump her stroller into the street. But the worst of all was about five years ago, I watched a woman on a scooter try to get over this hump and wound up in the street with a big gash on her arm. Dan says those scooters and even wheelchairs now have to head down to the next intersection to cross. I have alerted the city about the issue. Hopefully TDOT will come up with a solution and a quick fix to this real trouble spot. If you have an issue for the Pothole Patrol, email us, tell us the location and the problem. Send a picture or two like Dan did along with your name and your phone number. Email it to share at kgun9.com. I'm Pat Paris, KGUN 9 on your side. Pat, thank you. Is there a Guy Ashley Street yet? No, there is not, but there obviously is a Stella. There is a Stella. We need a Guy Ashley and maybe even an Aaron Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not holding my breath for that. <laughs> well, spring has flung, and that means spring fling. I've got the forecast coming up. Plus, another Arizona basketball player heading for the NBA. More on the freshman's decision to go pro. You're watching KGA 9 on your side.